So guys, when Lambo, are you a moon boy or a hula or a DJ? In this video, we bring to you top crypto slangs you should know to speak like a Bitcoin expert. This is actually one of the series of videos we made on crypto slangs. If you've not watched any of the videos previously, click the link up there now to watch them right away. So the first guy on our list here is what? FOMO. FOMO is short for fear of missing out and is the feeling traders get when they think they may miss out on a crypto price increase. FOMO encourages people to buy particular crypto as soon as possible before the next inevitable price increase. So you see a coin going up rapidly, you are moved by emotion to ape in fast. When you FOMO, you can get wrecked. Because it's just like jumping into a moving train, you can get crushed, you know? FOMO can lead to emotional trading and bad decision making. Avoid that as much as you can. A good way to reduce FOMO is to have a strategy and stick to it, especially if you believe that the asset you are investing in will rise in value over the longer term. So that will mean that you are holding the coin in the long term. So usage can be, I bought at an all-time high yesterday and now it's down 30%. The FOMO got me bad, you know? So that is that about FOMO. The next crypto slang on our list is called FEUD and it stands for fear, uncertainty and doubt. FEUD as it is commonly exclaimed in crypto cycle, is a psychological method of inspiring negative sentiment about a particular project or asset to prevent further buying or even instigate selling or short selling. Right? So someone can come out in a project bringing in negative energies or negative vibes into a project. So that will make people to be very cautious of buying more of that asset. And eventually those that have bought will want to do what? Sell. But if you know much about that particular project, no amount of field can do what move you. So the objective is to suppress an asset's price so the fielder can accumulate at a lower price. Sometimes field is used as a strategy to try and negatively influence the perception of a certain cryptocurrency or the market. So some people can actually be paid to field a project. Beware, be warned. The next on our list is few. Few is short for few understands and it's used at the end of the sentence to make the point. Example, Visa bought a punk, few, right? So at the end of a statement, you can just put few just to let every other person know that few understand, not everyone understand. If you know, you know, stuff like that. You can use it in place of what few. The next one on our list is DYOR, do your research, and it's commonly used by crypto enthusiasts to encourage people to research their investments and not rely solely on the advice of others. Think for yourself and draw your own conclusions rather than following the wisdom of the crowd. No matter what you watch on YouTube or what you read on Twitter, always do your own research. Failure to DYOR can get you wrecked. How about that? The next crypto slang on our list is GM or GN. If you've seen a crypto Twitter or Discord flooded with GM or GN, know that it simply means good morning and good night. And I'm out of here. Remember, none of this is NFA. Always do your own research. Don't feud project. Remember to hold on to coins you believe in. Hope you got value in this video. We've made several videos on crypto slangs. Click the link up there to watch one of them right away. Support this channel by smashing that subscribe button right away. Trade responsibly. Peace out.